Hello, we're talking about some more polo cross term. And polo cross is played with a racket that has a net on the end of it and a soft rubber ball. And the goal is to use your rackets uh, with your teams of three. Remember we have the number one, the attack, that can make the goals. You have number two, midfield, that can stay within the midfield area. And the number three, that can play in the midfield and then go to the opposite team's goal to defend. So defense. So a lot of the play happens here in midfield. And the number one can either carry, he can't carry the ball across the penalty line, but he can bounce it. So he drops it, bounces it, and re-catches it as he comes in. Or the number one can be down in here, and he can receive a pass from the number two or the number three player to make an attempt on goal. Now we have a chuck up. It's a time period of gameplay, six to eight minutes and there can be several chukkas per game. You have a free throw to, re it's a throw to restart the play. Uh, say someone goes out of bounds, or if the ball goes out of bounds, or even a hoof of the mount who is carrying the ball goes out of bounds, it steps on the line that's considered out of bounds. So, uh, and then the other team, they get a free throw to restart gameplay. So, giving wood is an upswing at the opponent's racket to dislodge the ball. So you can't be wildly swinging at your opponent, but you can give little taps with your racket to kind of pop the ball up out of the opponent's um, racket so that you can get possession of the ball. Um, you need to be get very careful with that, and we'll talk about that in a bit. The line of the ball is the direction the ball is traveling, and whoever's following the line of the ball the closest has the right of way. You're not supposed to cross. If someone's following the line of the ball, uh, you can't cut in front of them to get possession of the ball. Penalties are, we have carrying the ball over the penalty line, which is called crossing. You're supposed to bounce it. Uh, causing the ball to go out of bounds, or carrying it if you're carrying it and your mount's hoof steps in the line. That's considered out of bounds. Crossing the line of travel of another player unless far enough away as not to be a danger. So if two people are racing towards it and you cross their line and they have to pull up and check, then uh, you get a penalty. Crossing the ball and racket over the center line of the mount, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to keep it on your stick side. Um, rough play, uh, grabbing the player with your hand, uh, using your forearm to knock them. You can use the upper part of your arm. Uh, wildly swinging racket will be penalized. Dangerous riding, such as bumping, the you can't bump another rider or let your mount's head touch another rider or the mount. And wedging is where you have maybe you have two people sandwiching another rider to cause a dangerous situation, which is called wedging or sandwiching. Thanks.